What up, people? You know, brazen. This is Cotton Stock Options. Calls and puts. A call. Yo. And a put. Like, you know, just like the word says, a put. So, first, a call. Pretty much, a call is an option to buy an underlying, the underlying stock at a set price. So, we know what stock is. If you don't know what stock is, check out my other video. Stock is a share of a company that you can purchase. An option, a call option is just an underlying contract stating that me and you, me and you in a dance, I am going to gonna call some ship shares away from you. I got the right, I got the right for a call. When you buy calls, when you're buying calls, you have rights. When you're selling calls, you have obligations. So whenever you sell something, you have obligation like in real life. So if you, if I go to your store, I go to your grocery store and you sell me something, your obligation is to give me that thing. You're obligated to give it to me because you sold it to me. All right. I come into your grocery store. I am not obligated to buy it. You have it there to sell it to me, but I'm not obligated to buy it. That's why when I come and buy something as a call buyer, I am not obligated to buy it. I'm decisioning I should or I shouldn't. And you, the person that sold it to me, which could be any Joe Schmo in the world, because I know in your mind, in the hood people's minds, like who's who, who, any Joe Schmo, when it comes to these stocks and these options, there's Joe Schmoes all over the world. You're in Brooklyn, you're in Kansas, you're in Illinois, you're in Wichita-Tankator. Wherever you at, there's someone that's willing to sell and buy an option. So remember, a call option is just the underlying contract to buy, because you're buying the call, to buy a stock at an underlying predetermined, predetermined. Get this? This is what options is all about, people. Predetermined prices that you figure out, you look and think might happen. Some people take guesses. A lot of people go and do the mathematics on a company, and that's going to determine where you're going to make money at. And if you like your money, you're going to investigate. You're going to do your mathematics and, you know, make sure you do what it takes. Like, you know, they have the apps you have on your phone. You just have the app and you watch, you watch your, you watch your stuff. You make sure you watch your stuff. You know what I mean? It's up to you to figure out, all right, I always like to use this as an example. This is an example. There's no affiliation. Nike. Nike. Like the sneakers we buy. Like I said, I love Nike. Nike, you should go predetermined to buy Nike at $89. Safe Nike goes up to $110. Smart consumers, you understand? If you cop the pair of Nikes, and this is what we do, hood people, my hood people, we cop and stop. We cop sneakers, and you cop it for 200 and what you suggest you want to do? You want to sell it for four. So anything you're saying, a call option gives you, the buyer, the right to purchase a stock at a predetermined price. Remember that. That's the option contract. So the call Example, again, I'm explaining you with a call, you go into a grocery store, you see a bag of bread for $2.99. You, as the person with the $3 in their pocket, have the right to buy it or not. Now, that person in that grocery store has to sell it to you. Once you give them their money, of course, their obligation is to sell it to you. If they take your $3 and don't give you your bread, then you, you're missing out. I'm sure you're going to take notice and do something about that. So if we all understand, my hood people, check it out. Remember, a call option is a predetermined contract to buy a stock at a predetermined price. Say it with me. A call option is a contract to buy a stock at a predetermined price later date and a later expiration date. And remember, options is all, it just has future dates. You can't buy an option behind you. You cannot, you can't buy an option from behind you. Every option you will purchase or for options is in the future. It will be 10 days out, 12 days out, 15, 24, 100, 68, 100 days, 300, 400. It could be a day out. It's up to you. But the option allows you to write as the buyer to buy that option, that stock, excuse me, because we're not buying stock per se. We don't own the stock. You can own the stock. That's what's called cover calls. When you own the stock, it's a cover call. So, 
as a core option, once again, it is a contract to buy a stock at a predetermined price at an expiration date before the expiration date of your contract. It's that simple, my hood people. Get that. Just like you go to the store and they do it in a, they do it in foot lockers. You go to foot locker and put your name on a list for a pair of sneakers, right? You're you're telling them I'm willing to buy these sneakers at that date. And if you don't have them sneakers at that date, I'm not gonna pay for them. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. A call option, people, is just a contract between you and an anonymous seller. Anonymous sellers, because chances are you most likely you don't know the seller, you won't know the seller. Is one is put it out there. They put it out there in the market to sell. So they said they was willing to sell something at the price that you just thought of. You you put out a price and you said, oh, I want to pay for seventeen dollars. They said, Oh, that person already put out in the in the market that they was willing to sell their option for seventeen dollars. So they're banking on you losing. So for a call option to go good for you, you want if you buy a call, you're a Bear, you're bullish. Excuse me, I'm going to say bearish because I got a cat walking around. He looks like a bear. If you buy a call, you're bullish on the market. And the word bullish means you're a bull. You know, like a bull. Uh, you know, uh, full, full force ahead. They got the two words bullish and bearish. If you're bearish, you're... Uh, I don't, I don't want to buy. Bulls buy bears. But both in options, you're buying. You're, you're calling and buying. You're selling and buying. So either way... You're going to find yourself being a bull or a bear. And you could be both at the same time. You have strategies for that too, you know. But like I said, right now we're, more, we're focusing on what a call option is. A call option is a contract between you and a Joe Schmo somewhere, predetermined price, 24 days, a day out, 30 days, 100 days out. I am willing to buy this from you at when, within this time before that last date. So if today is February... April 20th, ah, April 20th, you know, today's April 20th, and you say you bought a call for four days out. You're telling the person, I'm willing to buy this stock at this price. Your call has a set price. It could be, like I said, $17. You're willing to pay $17 for that call, and if the stock goes up, you get it? So the stock is trading at 15 so you buy a 15 call saying, I'm willing to buy this, buy this stock at $15. I'm willing to buy it if before the end of this the four days. So on the fourth day, if I don't want to buy it, I'll just, uh, or I'll buy it or I'll sell it. So you buy the call, $15. And if the price you want, as you buying this call, you want this price to go up. You want this price to go up exponentially. You want it to go from 15 to 1,000, if please. I mean, 2 million would be even better. If this stock could go from $15 to $30 million from February, from April 20th to the 25th, you in the money. That's what ITM is, in the money. You want anything after 15, 16, 17, 18 is good for you. 15 below, no good. When you buy a call, Anything below the number you bought, no good, okay? So if you buy a call, just remember, hood terms, you buy the call, whatever you number you buy that call for, not the money, not what you paid, but the strike price. A strike price is the price of a stock. Remember that, strike price is the price of a stock. So you buy that call at 15, you want everything above 15. Chances, whatever you bought that call for tells you what you want. So if you bought the 15 call, okay, for fifteen, for seven, for set three dollars, so you want it to be above eighteen. So then fifteen plus a three. If you bought it fifteen plus two, fifteen plus two. If you bought the fifteen call for two dollars, you want that call to go up to seventeen and above. Because fifteen plus two, that's your money. Your two dollars is your premium that you bought. So you got to make back your two dollars back. So you want it to go fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That two dollars. So, and, and good and good math, you want it to go way above 15, of course. Nowhere below, then you start losing. So, remember, a call option gives you rights. You're not obligated to buy. You don't have to. But if your, money, if your, if your option goes into money and whatever app you on, whatever trader app, you might get exercised. Exercise is not a bad thing, but it also you know, it takes, it takes time because the exercise has to go through a day or two days, clear, there's money held up. When you could just sell the option. It's a sticky place. You want to watch your options. You know, I said, you got to keep an eye every five minutes. You got to keep an eye on it. So a call option is a contract to buy a stock at a predetermined price if you want. 
Remember that. If you want. That's why it's called rights as a, a buyer. Even if you're buying puts, whenever you're buying, just have rights. Remember that on either side. Buy puts or calls. When you're a seller, you have obligations to deliver. You must deliver. Whether it's it works for you or not, you, you must deliver. If a person if the person exercises you selling a call, so I told you you could buy a call. So now the other hand on that is you sell a call. If you sell a call, you're bearish. You're believing that the stocks is not going to do well. You don't see it going up. Because remember, a call means buying a call means you're bullish. So if you sell the call, that means you're seeing the outlook on a, that stock. Something is not too right at the moment and you feel it might go lower. And you want it to go lower. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, the only time you hedging is when you feel... You, you go with emotions. That's when you're hedging. When you're just buying options in your day trading, you're not hedging. Because if you don't own a stock, you're not hedging. You're just buying and transacting options. And you're buying, pretty much, you're selling premium. Because you're not buying the stock. You're, you're selling and buying premium. You're, you're, you're banking on your stock going up so you can get the premium. You want your premium to go up for whatever you bought. If you bought it at, if you bought the call at $2, you generally want it to go $4, 10 20 100 $3,000, a million. Anything below is no good. Remember that. This is how simple this is, my people. Leave a comment.